Yo guys, welcome back. So um, in the previous video, we bleed all of the brakes from my 2014 GL450. We've got all the brakes bleed. Um, and I don't know if you guys watched it to the end, but in that video, I explained that I ended up putting the wrong brake pad. So for today is to fix that. Cause uh, yeah, not a big fan driving driving with those um, brake pads. So, and on top of that, uh, we are gonna replace the brake discs as well. Cause uh, uh, I was getting this vibration. Um, I'm pretty sure probably just from the um, brake pads, but you know, hey, since we're there, why not? So let me show you how we're gonna do that. And honestly, it's gonna be pretty easy, you know? If I can do it, you guys can do it as well. So if, and then on the end of the day, if you guys do it, you guys are gonna save a ton of money. So you can end up, you know, playing on a PlayStation or, you know, buying something else, whatever. Whatever you guys want, you know, like I said, you guys can get it. So let's get to it. Okay guys, so let me show you, it's super easy and once again, if I can do it, you guys can do it. This bracket right here comes out pretty easy, you guys need to push and out. Woo. Okay, Whew. then for neck, we need to remove these two caps in the back and I have only one. I need to order another one. To remove the calip the brake calipers, to be able to replace the brake pads, you guys need uh, 11 millimeters. So this is, I guess it's uh, some kind of a weird special number that, you know, it needs to be ordered through Amazon. So I'm gonna put a link down below for you guys if you wanna get it. Okay, there's one more in the bottom. So there you go guys, you guys can see the ones that they put in and the new ones. You guys see how big they are? So make sure you guys are putting the right brake pad so else, you know, you guys are gonna get problems like me. Okay, now I need to pop these guys. There we go. Okay, so now I have this wire here prepared and ready. We're gonna hook them. Now they're out of the way. Next, to be able to remove this bracket. So I prepared everything before I, sh you know, I filmed because those bolts in the back, oh man. Those ones are pretty hard. And honestly, let me show you a tip. So to be able to get them loose, I just get my ratchet somewhere around here. And then I get this rigid half an inch pipe, stick it below the, the fender, and I just push down. That was the only way. I mean, I don't know if you guys want to use a hammer. I tried that, it didn't work for me, so yeah. And the bracket is out. And I forgot to mention, for this bolt, I'm using 13 16s. 13 16s to remove that bracket. Okay, now, the next thing is this little bolt right here. That one comes out with a T30. Once again, you guys need to hold it and push. Because if you strip that guy, oh man, I don't want to even know. It's gonna be uh, pretty tricky. You guys see that? Look at that rust. Okay guys, well, I tried hammer and nothing's really working. So I went to the store and I got a half an inch bolt. It's a four inch uh, long with a washer and a nut. So right here in the back, right between where the brake caliper is attaching, we're gonna slide this bolt, then we're gonna get the washer and then the nut. Okay, there you go. Now a three quarter right here in the back and then three quarter in the very back. And oh, oh. did you guys see that? There's no way with the hammer getting out. Okay, let's spin it. And let's do it again. <laughs> Look at that! You guys see that? Oh, super easy. Five minutes ago, man, I almost wanted to cry. It's a good thing I didn't cry. 
<laughs> okay. Oh man. Look at that rust. That is crazy. So we need to clean all of that. And the crazy thing is uh, I went to the store and I didn't buy a metal brush. It's crazy. But yeah, there you go guys. You can see. This is the most easiest way to remove your brake disc without stupid hammers. Oh man. That was so easy. I don't know if you guys hear the pop. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Okay, so now I just need to clean this surface as much as I can. I'll put a little bit of grease. Maybe even this guy, because this guy looks like it seals. Um, it looks like it, seal, it seals the surface, so. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna be able to spin it. Well, so this and this, it's aligning with this guy, and then this is where the screw is gonna go. So let's see. Just like that. Oh yeah. Now we need to put the new screw. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, this is where it's gonna go. There. Now it's all the way in. I'll put the old one. This old one is in a good condition. There you go. Not too tight. Perfect. Okay. So now let's put everything back together. Okay. Woo! It's perfect. So for this guy right here, we're gonna do the same thing. So let me show you how we're gonna do it. So before I do all that, so this is the actual pin that stays here and it makes it, do you guys see that? It goes in and out. So I kinda do wanna grease it out just so it moves a little bit more freely. Just a little bit, not a lot. Okay, I'm gonna use this guy right there. Just a little bit. There you go, do you guys see that? Yeah, see? Oh yeah. See how it's supposed to move. The idea is to trap some grease right there. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, guys, I'm gonna clean it real quick. Okay, guys. I should do it. Let me test it. Oh, yeah. This is how it's supposed to sit. And before, this is how this was sitting. It was sitting like that. So, I mean, it worked, but yeah. Perfect. So, now, I'm gonna get, again, a little bit of uh, this uh, brake quiet. Because, honestly, this looks like, it, it works like a silicone. So, it seals the cylinders. Oh, and uh, before I put the new ones, we need to move the brake cylinders as, as much as we can further in. So, we have space to put them in. So, okay, guys. So, to be able to pull all of the cylinders back, I mean, both of the cylinders back. I'm using the old back pads. You guys don't want to use the new ones. And then you need to make sure that the tap, make sure you don't lose your cap. Remove the cap on the tap. So you have space. So all of that food's going to go back up there to the tank. There we go. Now, we am do that. There we go. Then on the other side, same thing. Just a little bit. You know, just spread it out. Okay. And now, I'm gonna put the new ones. And then, this new guy actually, I'm gonna put it right here. Here you go. Keep it together, if you can. There you go. Okay, pin number one, pin number two. Okay, make sure they're pretty tight. Perfect. Now, this bracket right here. There you go. Perfect. And now we're gonna go step on the brake so we can get it all smushed in and get it as a sandwich. And boom, this tire is good to go. Okay, guys, so this is gonna be a little bit faster. You guys don't need to see that because you guys already know how to do it. The only thing that I will mention is careful with the sensor. The front right tire has the sensor right here. So make sure you guys don't rip this piece right here. This sensor is gonna be replaced no matter what, but you know, make sure that you don't rip this cable right here because this is your sensor cable. So yeah, so let's get to it.
Okay guys, watch it. I'm gonna go and step on the brake and you guys will see how it will move this way, other way, this way, see. Okay, so this guy's gonna be moving this way. Looks perfect guys, it looks perfect. So I'm gonna put the tires back, take it for a spin and see how it is, but honestly, think it's pretty good so here we have it guys it was a pretty good workout I'm not gonna lie but in the same time you know we saved a lot of money doing it by ourselves because you know no job like that flushing changing the brake pad the brake discs a bait shoe you guys gonna be close to a thousand dollars so here we go there you go man oh man so thank you guys for watching um if you guys want to see how to save money you know doing those projects by, by yourself you know not paying anybody else to do it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell so you guys are gonna be notified every single time when i'm posting a video and uh yeah oh don't forget to smash the like button if you guys like what you guys saw and uh yeah that's about it guys well i'll see you on the next one